tonight. Multiple brides say they've had issues getting their dresses from a local bridal shop. One woman is now out a couple grand. Meantime, the owner of the store has filed for bankruptcy. The Fox 4's Reagan Porter follows the trail from the next on the Kansas side to the new storefront in Kansas City near 21st and Wyandotte. Bride Abby Ostronic found the dress at the one bridal last March. She put half down $1,500 for the couture custom dress she knew could take six to nine months to complete. After several months of calling the shop for updates. I was without a dress five weeks from my wedding. Um, no communication, no help from the bridal shop. Her maid of honor contacted the designer directly. The designer said, oh, I actually have her dress. I've had it for about six weeks already. Um, but the bridal in, bridal shop hasn't paid. And so we haven't been able to ship anything and they won't contact us back. Store owner Ashley Jones blames the designer. Jones did not want to talk on camera, but says her team called Ostronic about the dress. Ostronic shared this voicemail an employee left on December 6, saying the shop had just shipped her dress to their store in Dallas where she lives. But Ostronic says the designer had just overnighted her dress from the studio to her front door and she was tracking the order. The designer told Ostronic's family she had several other bridal gowns from the one bridal in the same situation. I, once I heard that the designer had it, I got pretty upset. Two sizes too big, Ostronic paid an additional $700 to rush alterations. It very much has the ability to ruin someone's wedding day. Jones's store used to be at the city center in Lenexa. The district sued the one bridal, claiming the business was not paying rent. When Jones failed to show up in court recently, a judge ordered her to pay more than $162,000 for the lease she owed at city center. Jones says she moved her business to a new location in Kansas City, Missouri with lower overhead. She says they're only working with designers on the current sales right now and selling these dresses in store off the rack. This document shows the one bridal filed for bankruptcy last spring, but can stay in business while paying off their debts. It shows the one bridal owes somewhere between a half million and one million dollars. Ostronic has a warning for other brides. Be cautious, be wary. If things aren't lining up, honestly, contact the designer. Reagan Porter, Fox 4, working for you.